I did 100 pull-ups for 30 days in a row, and here's what happened. I would go to the gym, work out, and then do the pull-ups after. So I was already hitting a workout before all these pull-ups, keep in mind. Yeah, I had a torn ligament in my foot. I was showing up to the gym every single day in a boot. I'm injured and I'm doing it after my workout. There's no excuse why you guys can't go to the gym. You should be exercising every single day. But like around three days in, my forearm was completely strained. It was not good. A couple days in, I was like, man, this is tough. Like, should I even continue? But obviously I'm gonna continue. I had made a commitment to myself and I told myself, I'm going to do this. And I also thought to myself, I'm like, hey, I mean, I literally am getting surgery and I'm gonna be out for like, who knows? I'm still out right now. I still have a hurt foot. And this was back in August. I kept going because I figured, hey, even if it gets worse, I'm gonna be out for a long time anyways. So, might as well just push it as hard as I can because I can't push myself physically in any other way. Like, I can't use my leg, I can't even do squats, I can't even walk, I can barely walk. That's something that I think a lot of people are missing nowadays. They're, they always ask, you know, how, am I, how do I stay disciplined? How do I stay motivated? You just have to do it and stay committed. Like, there's no magic answer. There's nothing that's gonna change the way you're gonna do anything. You just have to do it. That's it, it's simple. Like literally just get the things done because if you're continuously putting in the work, you're consistent and you're disciplined, it's eventually gonna pay off. Like there's no one in history, I don't think there's been anyone who was super consistent, worked as hard as they could and actually gave their best effort and failed. No one. As long as you're consistent and you can review and analyze things and make adjustments based on the feedback, you cannot lose. So that's just something I want to say. That's the model of the video. And you cannot lose if you put all your work in and are disciplined. You just can't lose. So I kept doing it. Felt great. It felt amazing, guys. Literally around like, I'm not even kidding you. Like within a couple of days, I was so, I loved it. It felt so good because your back feels strong, your posture gets good. And just doing 100 pull-ups makes your back feel really nice. You don't get those type of workouts or pumps or feelings from lifting. It's a huge difference. I'm not doing this for strength or, you know, to boost my physique or whatever. I'm not doing this as to like strength, see like how much muscle I can gain or how many reps I can do. I'm just doing this as a mental challenge. It's something that I wanted to do just to sharpen my blade because, like I said, there was nothing I could do that was challenging at the time physically. and. It was something I was called to do. I thought of it and I was like, all right, I have to do it because I thought of it. And I didn't want to do it and that's why I should do it. It's just a part of the mindset, guys. That's the part of the mindset you have to have. That's, we're focused, guys. Like, it's part of being focused. You got to do the things that you don't want to do, that you know are going to be good for you. I'm not kidding you, around day 30, I wanted to keep doing it. I wanted to, I actually told myself, I was like, hey, this is so good, I think we should do this every single day and add it to the routine. That's how good it was. So I, um, I think anyone who is thinking about doing it should immediately do it. It's insane. Your back feels good, your posture's good. It helps build strength, different from lifting. Like your actual body, like you're controlling your body. That's huge. Most people can't control anything in their body. It did boost my strength quite substantially. My Pull-up game was insane after this. And anything I did related to back workouts, the weight just skyrocketed. Like I was able to do way more lifts. On the lap pull-downs, I was able to do like 30 more pounds with ease, just from pull-ups, guys. Think about it, if you're doing pull-ups and you're pulling your body weight, I weigh around 215, I could only do 130, I, I was doing like 145 for, I don't know, like. 10, 12 reps with really good form. And after I did the pull-ups, it went from 145 for 10 reps to doing like 185 for 10 reps clean. Guys, it's insane. So if you do want to do it for strength, do it. It's going to help you. Your pull-up game is going to go crazy and your lifts are going to skyrocket. 
They're not going to be super noticeable for the other lifts, but for the back exercises, specifically lat pulldowns, it's going to change completely. At least it did for me. But anyways, if you guys want to see more type of content like this, just let me know. And, um, you know, I really think it's important for people to set challenges in their life and do things that they don't want to do because those are the things that are going to make you grow the most. Most of the things in our life that we don't want to do, we don't want to face them, we put them off to the side, we push them away. Those are the exact same things that we need to do in order to grow as people. Think about it, guys. You can only get so far in life by doing the same thing. Something's got to change. And there's something in all of our lives that we have that we know we should be doing and we're not doing it. But just do it. Make that change. Do the things that you don't want to do. Anyways, hope you guys liked the video. We're focused.